Thanks for clicking on this Wayne.com bonus video. I'm News Channel 15's Matt McCutcheon. We're coming to you outside Sururis, where just a few moments ago this Thursday afternoon, inside, I sat down with the Congressman Mike Pence to talk about a variety of issues. Here now is that raw, unedited video from this one-on-one -on -one sit-down interview. It's a big issue as far as security on airplanes after that Christmas event. Right. Uh, what sort of your take on all of that? Well, I, uh, clearly the system didn't work, and I was pleased to see uh, the administration eventually get around to acknowledging that. Um, we look forward to a more thorough examination of where the failings occurred. But uh, it is my hope that we don't just take the view that we can plug the holes in our homeland security or transportation security. Uh, a key part of our strategy has to be, as it has been since 9-11, a willingness to take the fight to the enemy. Uh, the government of Yemen, uh, where this attack was hatched and launched, uh, has asked for our assistance uh, in tracking down a terrorist within their jurisdiction. And uh, it's my hope that as the president addresses this from the standpoint of uh, our own domestic security, that we're also prepared to take action necessary to uh, uh, stop these terrorists where they're forming up. Do you feel that there has sort of been a sort of letdown of security from the Obama, Obama administration when you look at this sort of situation and then just, you know, a couple of months ago at that dinner uh, to even a third guest possibly, not even on the list, sort of got into that dinner. Do you sort of look at this as sort of a, a continuous track record of security breaches by his administration? Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm less troubled about um, um, uh, any pattern of... Uh, lap security than I am about what I perceive to be a change in, uh, in our country's approach to terrorism. It seems like this administration, whether it be um, trying uh, the Detroit underwear bomber or Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in civilian criminal courts, um, whether it be closing Guantanamo Bay or whether it be, in effect, dealing with these issues from a law enforcement standpoint, uh, as opposed to a military standpoint. Uh, I, I'm concerned that we're going back to making the mistakes of the 1990s, uh, which, which, which sees terrorist activity in this country as a criminal matter as opposed to a matter of national security. We, we simply uh, cannot uh, uh, continue to deal with enemy combatants as though they're ordinary criminals in this country. I, I, think, I think most Hoosiers were appalled uh, to see that the, the underwear bomber in Detroit was immediately read his rights, provided an attorney at taxpayer expense, and now is being given access to the due process afforded to American citizens in our criminal courts. Um, you know, we, 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 we ought to continue to prosecute the war on terror um, uh, as a war, uh, and we ought to deal with these people as enemy combatants. And at the most, we ought to afford them the due process that's available in the military tribunals. New Year, 2010, of course, off to a new start. What do you sort of see being the big issues this year? Obviously, the economy is a big one. Well, I think uh, what I heard at a town hall meeting in Muncie yesterday, and uh, um, I expect to hear in Bluffton today, is uh, this is about uh, jobs and spending. The American people are tired of the... Uh, failed economic policies of this administration and this Congress. Uh, from the time they passed their stimulus bill, we've seen unemployment rise from 7.5 percent to 10 percent nationally. Clearly, their economic policies are failing. Uh, we need to embrace the kind of fast-acting tax relief that will put Americans back to work um, and has always and will always be a way to uh, incentivize economic growth. But the other piece is, I think the American people long to see this Congress, long to see both political parties get serious about controlling spending again. During these tough economic times, Hoosiers are cutting back uh, in the city and on the farm. They're making tough choices uh, to put their fiscal house in order. Uh, and that's happening everywhere in this country except in Washington, D.C. And I think uh, other than tax relief, uh, the only thing that... that uh, uh, the most important thing, rather, Washington could do to get this economy's confidence back would be to show fiscal restraint, fiscal discipline in Washington, D.C. Last two questions of the events going on in uh, Bluffton City, one also in Muncie yesterday. What are those about? Well, I've made a practice throughout my years in Congress of having regular town hall meetings. And despite the snow and the blustery conditions, uh, we thought it was important to start the year by listening, uh, by uh, 
uh, coming out and seeing what's on the minds of uh, uh, the people of uh, northeastern Indiana. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that time. These are, my wife says the town hall meetings are my antidote to Potomac fever. Uh, and there's probably a lot of truth to that. Uh, you can get out to Washington, D.C., and, uh, uh, you know, a, a city full of politicians and pretensions, and you can uh, maybe get, get it into your head that uh, uh, certain things are a good idea, but you come home to places like Wells County, and you usually get a pretty good attitude adjustment. <laughs> so uh, that's the benefit for me. We'll go back to work on Capitol Hill uh, next week, uh, but this week it's about listening, learning, uh, and I, I, think, I think we'll hear uh, the good, strong, mainstream, bipartisan conservatism that makes this uh, state and this country great in high relief. 2012, will your name be on the list of contenders for president? Well, I, I, I don't know. Um, uh, I, if I'm reelected in 2010, um, We'll, we'll take a look at a number of, of uh, opportunities. We've been encouraged to think about um, uh, possibly running uh, for statewide office um, uh, in the future. And um, uh, I've just told uh, all of our friends and all those who've given us such encouragement that all of our focus now is on the elections in 2010. Uh, I truly believe we have an opportunity to elect a Republican majority on Capitol Hill and at the State House in Indianapolis. And I'm devoting all of my energies and all of my attentions uh, to winning back uh, the Congress and the State House for conservative values. And uh, we'll let the future take care of itself.